welcome to Walking with a Challenge. We have a very exciting walk today. It's called the Victoria Point Fodder Forest and it's at the 312 Colburn Avenue, Victoria Point, Queensland. And another reference point is that it's opposite the Victoria Point Community Hall and there is access to the car park via Link Road. Very excited to show you this walk because when I go for a walk, I love going to places where there's a bit of a feature to it whether there's water, whether there's coffee shops, and so on. And this one here has a beautiful coffee shop called Our Place Coffee Garden. They have very good friendly staff there, and the service is pretty quick as well. They make fantastic coffees there, and you can have a cup of coffee before or after doing your walk. There is plenty of car park and a nice toilet uh, before you start your walk. So to start the walk, you've got two options. You can start straight away from where the arrow is pointing to you on the screen now, because you can just jump onto the actual path and start your walk. Or you can follow us through the video and we'll show you another way. And that's the one going through the coffee shop on the left hand side. You can walk through that little pathway there and, and you'll see what a nice setup it is to go through on the left hand side there on the side of the coffee shop. You get to this place here, you'll see that a lot, a lot is going on in this little corner of Victoria Point. Uh, the coffee shop here offers a little dog uh, off the leash area when you're having coffee. So it's a very good dog friendly area to bring your pet with you. You can go for a walk and bring your dogs with you, have a cup of coffee. Like I said, I'm very excited for this walk. It's got a nice feature for you to come and enjoy the walk and as you walk out of the gate you have another place to come and enjoy your day and that's a, a dog park just outside here as you can see already this is a very flat walk very open to the sun as you can see already it's very very sunny so we keep walking and following the path all the way through you'll you'll see where we turn but basically just just follow the path all the way through stick to your left and follow the path shown for you in the video. As you can see, it's a very well groomed and maintained park. So far, we haven't encountered any sitting area. One of the things that I forgot to do during this walk was to prepare myself properly and I forgot to bring a bottle of water. So I did suffer all the way through the walk because I was quite dehydrated quite quickly. As you can see now, there's a park in the middle of the walk here. So if you're gonna bring your kids and you want to try to do a little bit of exercise, or well, I should call it activities. It's a great feature to have it right in the middle of the walk because the kids can play in the park and you can go for a little bit of a flat walk because this walk is definitely very flat. It's very open to the uh, sun. There are patches where there's a lot of cover, but there's also a lot of patches where there's just full on, just open to the sun. And I felt every single minute of it. So if you're gonna come during winter, It'll be, it'll be perfect and if it's a windy day like it was that day um, it, it would give you some sort of relief but uh, definitely avoid it during summer if you're sensitive to the sun because you'll be fully exposed to the sun but I guess you can still come in summertime as long as you're getting there before it gets really hot during the day I would go in the morning or late in the afternoon so if you can imagine and picture the walk has been a, a letter Y we are now turning to the right hand side of this uh, Y intersection here and we're going to continue the walk here. So this is quite a different walk in comparison to the other ones that I've done before. This is a real suburban community walk that we're doing here today. We've come to the end of the walk here now. Of course I fast forwarded a lot of the walk but you can see that it's flat, you can see that it's open. There are seats at the start and there are seats here when you get to the fork as well and you can see that it is in the suburbia area there's a lot of open spaces and you can bring your family and they can play while you go for a walk so now we're going to turn around and go back and we'll continue on and we're going to go to where the park was at the intersection where where there was a fork intersection or a y and then you're going to keep going so we can go the other way and explore Okay, so you can probably notice now that the, the cover has changed. Uh, now there's a bit of more trees around and they, it dropped the temperature a little bit more for me. So it was a little bit more comfortable. I wasn't exposed to the sun as I was, as I was the first 10 minutes. This day was a particularly tiring day for me. 
I just had um, had a lot of things going on in my body that day. I had a sore back. I didn't have a good sleep that day, and I was just feeling exhausted. But I knew that I had to get up and and do some sort of activity. So I got out and and, and did this walk again. I, I did it all at my own pace. Of course, it's not the same pace that I used to do things before. And I, again, it's all about learning to do something different and learning to adapt to a new norm because when you have the, all these walking difficulties it be a surgery that you've had or lung capacity or a sore hip or anything I mean it's you, you know yourself what's going on with you that's preventing you from being more active learn to do something at least every day or at least once a week say set yourself a goal that you can do something during the week uh, if it's not every day at least once a week if it's not every uh, once a week every couple of weeks and so on because you need to do something at least to try to get up and about but if you're anything like me when I go out for a walk I'm a rattle right for a couple of days before I could do anything else so as you can see we all got to learn to have to explore our own limits and how to recover after every time we push ourselves to do something so now we've arrived at the bridge this bridge goes for a while it took me a little while to get through it because it's a bit of an incline not too much uh, enough for me to just take it easy and do it on my own pace but it is a beautiful sight once you get on there and just enjoy the walk along the um, the bridge there on top of the uh, the creek one of the things that I appreciated right about this time of the walk was having that rail all along there to have a rest because it does get a little bit tiring when you're walking and you'll start to ache a little bit on your on your uh, part of the back and in your neck and you start sort of having a bit of a rest by leaning on the rail and just taking it all in and then catching your breath again it was quite a nice feature to have when you go for a walk so you can have an idea of how long that bridge goes for it's 120 meters roughly 122 120 meters and you can have a look at the next slide that I put up it's a satellite image so you can see and I've measured it for you and it's about 122 meters all along the bridge so it's it's a good part of the walk itself as you finish going through the bridge you walk a little bit further up the path again just follow the path all the way through and you come across another seat where you can have a bit of a rest as well and as you keep walking up after you've had a little bit of a rest <laughs> You can then walk a wooden bridge. Uh, it's another feature that I like about this walk. It's got a lot of nice bridges and it just, just breaks up the scenery for you as well. As you can see, there's a lot of um, trees along the way, but it's still, it was actually quite warm that day. It was starting to get warm up um, as the day went on. So here, it's important that you notice that we actually, we are turning right. We're gonna go to the fishing platform. The left-hand side, as you can see from the satellite image that I'm going to put up on the next slide, pretty much goes nowhere that you're interested to go. Uh, it's not really part of the whoosh walk that I'm doing today, but the right hand side goes to a nice little fishing platform there, and you'll have a look at it in a minute how beautiful it is. So yeah, this walk is a really fantastic walk. It has two type of walks. It caters for two type of moods, I guess. If you're in the mood for a, a bit of a scenery, you can go left at the fork uh, or you can go right but if you go left you've got these features like the bridges that we just gone through and the fishing pond and things like that and if you go if you go right well you can just go for a walk there and, and just enjoy how flat it is and just, just just enjoy the surroundings as well and the kids can play on those playgrounds as well so I hope this video is helping you out to see what it's like and have a visual reference or where you are going to go for a walk. We explored a little bit on the right hand side just to show you what we mean that it's probably not a good idea to go there. I've showed you that on the actual satellite map that I put up before. Uh, the, red, red, the red boxes just stay away from that area and this is another area that uh, because I'm, I'm here down at the, uh, the fishing platform if you go to the right hand side you can go to an area that it's doesn't have a walk a path at all yeah, the ground is very uneven, as you can see here very shortly. And I just, I'll just keep away for you there from there. And from here, I just headed back, back up to where we started again. So that brings us pretty much to the end of the walk. That's amazing. That went for a 2.7k 
kilometers that's almost three kilometers and it went for 51 minutes and 45 seconds that was the longest walk that I've been on ever since I started this project uh, it was difficult I must admit because of the different things that I did wrong uh, one was I didn't have any water with me so I was dehydrated and uh, it was a bit of a hot day as well so anyway there's a lot of things that you gotta remember to do and not to do when you go for a walk I know there's sometimes having a walking challenge can sometimes stop you from getting out there and doing some sort of activity so come and check the channel there might be something here for you one day and uh, it might get you to go out there and go for a bit of a walk and a bit of an activity it, it, Brisbane is a beautiful area and there's a lot of things you can do even if it's just slow and and take your time but come out there and join our, our walk uh, come and join us in our channel have a look what's here for you and it's just important to remember that there's people out there like you that are walking with a challenge